everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you another uh, holiday design on this sponge painted bottle. I used the Engine Red and the Wicker White for uh, creating the two different uh, colors on the bottle using a seafoam sponge. And then I am going to be using Classic Green along with Thicket for this design. The, of course the bottle, I, I did the base coating, I don't know, several days ago actually at this point. And I am ready now to do my design. Again, just something, this one is really, really simple. I'm going to be using my fine liner my clay ball maker and then just one of my a magic flat brushes it's a number four all right so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that i'm going to do is go around the bottle i'm not really doing any special loading per se with this because the greens are kind of similar there's still a little bit of a variance but i'm just putting putting the two of them together you know, just we'll be dipping side to side, maybe doing some blending strokes and then painting. All right, so here I'm going to go and just do a simple, very simple vine around it. And I don't know if you notice some, I do have a little bit of red up at the top and that's just, you know, came along with painting it, you know, as I, as I was going along, uh, not a big deal. So I'm really just trying to get this paint to be a little bit more opaque. Now here's where you go where you might want to add a little bit of white into it because the white has so much pigment to it that that can help with the thickness of the paint. Now keep in mind when you're painting on glass you need to make sure that the paint is as opaque as you can get it with this type of paint just so that the durability is there because you want to make sure that the paint stays on the glass now it's not quite as important when you're dealing with a bottle for the, the purpose of just being a home decor piece you know, it's not going to be washed and handled as often as like a wine glass or something of that effect. But, I mean, you still want good durability regardless, right? And I'm just going to be bringing it up and down around the top of the bottle. I really like the design that I painted yesterday. It's probably my favorite so far. Again, I just keep loading my brush. If I get to the point where I feel like I have too much paint, then I will wipe it off on my paper towel and go from there with it. Keep in mind too, if you would, if you're new to my channel, my designs are meant to be very simple and something that is good for anybody to paint. I don't want it to be very difficult. I want it to be something that if you're just learning how to paint or you just want to be able to do some quick DIY projects for the holidays or for a gift at any time of the year, the kind of thing that you're, you're capable of doing it. Plus, if you're not really aware, being able to sit down and paint or draw anything along that in the arts it can be very calming and very good for you. So that's one thing I like to try to encourage are other methods of de-stressing. I know a lot of people do yoga and that kind of thing, which is fine. And that's great. But this is just another, another avenue. While I'm painting, if you have any questions, just feel free to put those down below the video. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before you go. 
That way you'll get notified whenever I paint something new. And I'm going to come back up in here again. Just like that. Like I said, it's just it's not difficult at all. And you can even use a flap, or not a flat brush, but a brown brush or a liner brush. However you want to do it. Alright, I think I got it going here. Now what I'm going to do is... Basically, I'm just dipping my brush, not really caring about, but I'm just dipping my brush back and forth into the different colors of green, and then I could even pull in some white if I wanted, and then I'm just going to go just like this, push it down, and pull it back. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could even come back over it with a little bit of white, push it down, pull it back. You could do this even with a filbert brush if you wanted. But again, just going like that and turning it. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And you can make them rounder at the top if you want. Thinner here. And just turn it and pull it towards the, the uh, vine. Like that. And you could even place them a little bit closer to each other, or even right up against each other if you want. As you're doing this design, you, know, you could go around and do it all in the greens and then come back and add some white to it, or maybe even another shade of green. Just to make it pop more if you want. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to come like this and pull it back. Come like this and pull it back. Very simple. Very simple. I'm just pushing pressure and then turning. Pulling and turning. Come in here, doing the same thing. Right here. Apologize if I float off the screen at all. See, this is what I'm saying. Just, you know, anybody can do this. It's just not difficult. You can, if you're able to hold a brush, you can paint. And you can just keep them going down the, down the stem here. So if I want to round it up a little bit more, I can. Having a base coat, though, definitely helps with making the you know, paint a little bit easier to paint because it's not as slippery. It's thicker. Therefore, it will definitely be more durable. Like I said, it doesn't have to have a, a square, a square um, end here. Turn your brush a little bit and round it out. Or you can have have it the square look. Either way is fine. If you like this, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Now I'm going to put another one over here. I am getting a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm continuing to pull that, wipe it off on my paper towel. Yeah, 
And you can even turn your brush around too if you want. I don't know why for some reason I can't seem to get this to look the way I want it to. There you go. And I can actually bring some more in here if I want. Like that. And come down here. And you just keep turning the bottle as you're working. Very simple. Like I said, I hope you like this. And what you're doing just around the top here like this, you know, you're not using a whole lot of paint. Doesn't take a whole lot of time because you're just doing just a quick painting around it, not the whole bottle itself. And the reason I chose to do the sponging on this is because I do put lights in my bottles, and that way you you know, the light will be able to come through better if you have, you know, it's not a solid paint. I probably will be doing some more solid bottles in the near future. Because they, they actually can make great bases, too. And that's, that's a fun creation, I'm sure. I've seen a lot of cute videos. This is a great to keep it out of the, you know, if you're into recycling, the bottle projects are perfect for that. Just merely because, you know, a lot of people, whether it's beer or wine, any other kind of alcohol bottles, you aren't, you aren't limited to just beer and wine, because there are other alcohol bottles. And this way, you're doing something fun with them, but you're making them, well, making a way for them to stay out of the trash. Okay, we're just going to come over here. And as these dry, and you see like maybe you want to go over it with another color after you get done doing this part of it, you sure can. Certainly can. You know what I'm thinking. Not thinking, but what I am thinking is I could use this part of my... The bottle to hold on to it. That might help a little bit. Other than how I was trying to paint. Say fun, fun, fun. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've completed the design as far as the green part around it. Went ahead and added some more white into some of the leaves and uh, so on. So what I'm going to do next is one of my favorite things to do is add in the dots. And I'm basically going to be taking just a small side of this dotting, or it's a clay ball maker actually. But I've been using it for making dots for a while. Alright, so you can just kind of Put a few dots here and there. You can line them up, or you can just let them let them be single. Doesn't matter. However you want to do it. And then you'll see what I do next. They're pretty cute. I like them now. They're not going to show up too much. Well, they're not probably going to show up at all 
on the red since they are red. And there's a couple things you could do if you wanted. And maybe add some white on them once you get done painting these. Just so that you can see them. Or you can put them on the green, the green leaves too. I like them. I like dots. You guys probably have picked up on that if you follow my videos. I seem to add a lot of them into my designs. I just kind of have them all over. I might just put some down in here a little bit on that leaf. And I'm thinking, you know, I, I know I could do, like I said, those aren't showing up so well. But I could actually put some light on them if I wanted. Put that on here. One of the reasons I thought maybe I would just go ahead and add some berries down here is because I can draw a little stem to them. Even if I don't put white on them, I can still, you know, add some greenery to it, which will make them pop out a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, another thing you could do on this if you didn't like just to have the design around the top, you could actually add a little bit of this down around the bottom. I'm not going to, but I'm just suggesting that that's a possibility. Okay, so then what you can do is just come in here with your fine liner and pull little, little stems just to show how they attach. Well, you could even just do like that, just add a little more definition to it, a little more interest. See? And it makes it make sense, right? And one of these, I mean, you can pull it to them, you can pull it away from them, however you want to do it. So around something like this, if you add a little bit more white to it, it stands out a little bit more. Just depends on where you're where you're putting it and how you're doing it. Yeah, I got a little red in there, but that's fine. And I could possibly add some more definition to it too, right? Who knows? I'm just kind of dipping it into my green and mainly the thicket green and some of the the white, the wicker white. That's kind of pretty. It's one thing I like to do is just design something and see where it goes, right? It's a fun thing about drawing a lot of times. Just kind of doing it. See where you end up. I really like this brush. Actually, need to get some new ones. And see, when you're doing it on the green, you add a little bit of white to it, and that can make it stand out a little bit more. I think it is if you go over it, you know, you get the red and you go over it, you know, you can always go back over it with the color, the initial color, without it being too big of a deal. So I went through one of my one of my berries or something because I've surely got a lot of red down here. 
it just make, gives it a more of a natural look. You can even have this coming down into here. But I certainly have to add some white to it so you can see it. We're almost done. I appreciate your patience and sticking with me on this. There's this, this brush just does such a dainty little line. Got a little more red in here. I must be really going through these. And it can come out a little thick at times, but it doesn't have to. To come up here, pull some more. Okay, I do have a lot of dots, so it is taking me a little bit of time to make sure I can get them all. Too much red on there. go. We're almost done. Nearing the end game here, guys. Nearing the end game. I think all those have it. Alright. I think we got them all. Hopefully, looks like it. All right, I think we're done. Again, like I said, if you want to go through and just add like a tip, maybe even just a, a touch of white to these berries, you could do that. I'm gonna leave them as they are because I really like them the way they are. But I hope you like this video. Make sure if you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would share this video on your social network, with all your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. You stay safe and healthy and have a good one.